fine. Let's solve for x in this equation. X to the power of x is equal uh, to the power of x is equal to half raised to the power of square root of two. Okay. Um. So this is equal to we have x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to one over two raised to the power of this sentence as root two multiplied by one, right? Or one multiplied by root two. Sorry. So let me write it this way: one multiplied by root two. So I can write that x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 2. Now, I can replace this with anything I want, right? Once the value is 1. So I want to replace it with 2 divided by 2. All I'm trying to do is to strike a balance between this and this, whereby I will get the same thing on top of each other, all right? Now, we have this. I will replace this with 2 divided by 2 multiplied by root 2. Now, I want us to recall this law of exponents. This law of exponents says that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n. Now, also, you can rewrite this as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. It simply means that when you have two powers on a base, you can manipulate it anyhow you want. Bring this in, take this out, or anyhow you want, as long as you don't change the value when you multiply this by this, okay? So, by so doing, we are going to manipulate this place now. So, see what we are going to do. So, we have that, trying to draw a straight line. <laughs> so, we have that 1 um, x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of now, I want to write this as 2 multiplied by square root of 2 divided by 2. Okay? Yes. Because this and this are still the same. This one and this one is still the same thing. So, I'll write x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 2. Now, because I have two things multiplying each other, recall, I can bring this one in, right? So, this can be written as half squared. Okay? Now, this is going to be raised to the power of square root of 2 divided by 2, all right? So we now have that x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 squared will give us 1, and 4 squared, 2 squared will give us 4. Now, this will now be raised to the power of square root of 2 divided by 2. Now, I have 1 over 4 here. So everything I will do now, I'll try as much as possible to see, I'll get 1 over 4 on top of 1 over 4 on top of 1 over 4. Do you understand? So, and the only way to accomplish that is, first of all, I need to put this in another form. Yeah, so that I can easily get what I want. Now, root 2, how, what, which other way can I write root 2? Root 2 over 2 can be written as 1 over square root of 2. Yes, because when you have 1 over square root of 2, if you want to rationalize root 2, it's going to be multiplied by root 2 divided by root 2, right? That is, if we want to rationalize the denominator, so we'll go ahead and get root 2 divided by 2. Since root 2 times root 2 will give us 2. So that means that square root of 2 divided by 2, that is this, can be written as 1 divided by root 2. Okay? So that means that I can rewrite this as x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4 raised to the power of 1 over root 2. Okay, is this the first time you're coming across this channel? Then what are you waiting for? Like, what are you still waiting for? Hit that subscription button and on your notification bell, okay? So I'll be notified anytime I upload a new video so I don't miss amazing videos and I upload at least two times every day. So you can tune in at your convenient time to see my new uploads and just refresh your memory or learn new things, depending. Okay, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Now, this is what we have. At this point, recall what I said. I'm trying to see if I can get 1 over 4, raise the power of 1 over 4, raise the power of 1 over 4. So I'm trying to manipulate this if it is going to be possible. And the only way is let me introduce this 4 to the power of 4 here, okay? So I will have x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over root 2 multiplied by 4 over 4. 
Now, so we now have x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4 raised to the power of 1 over root 2. Now I'm going to bring this 4 in, all right? So this is going to be raised to the power of 4. I mean 1 over root 2. Now when this comes in to become the power of this, we are left with 1 over 4 here, right? Okay, so we have x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4 raised to the power of now 1 to the power of 4 will give us what 1 divided by root 2 raised to the power of what 4 now the whole of this is raised to the power of 1 over 4 okay so we have x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4 sorry this 1 over 4 is this is base and this is power sorry i wrote it wrongly so that we don't confuse ourselves so this is 1 over 4, and the power is what? 1 over root 2 to the power of 4, right? Then raise the power of 1 over 4. So this is power, and this is another power. Now we have 1 over 4 uh, raised to the power of what? 1 over, now this root 2 to the power of 4 can be written as root 2 squared, right? Then squared again, right? This 2 times 2 will give us this 4 then everything is raised to the power of 1 over 4. Okay, now we continue. I don't want to write this here. Let me write it here to avoid so much confusion. Okay. All right. So we now have, we are almost through. x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to, so we have 1 over 4 raised to the power of, now this is going to remove this. So what we have now is 1 over 2 squared, right? So we have this raised to the power of 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4, all right? And this 1 over 4 is also raised to the power of 1 over 4. So we have gotten what we had wanted, okay? So this is what we've, what we've always wanted. That means that if x to the power of x to the power of x is equal to 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 4 to the power of 1 over 4, it simply means that x is equal to 1 over 4. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and tune in next time to view our videos.